Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie and this is my channel where I share easy real food recipes so you feel your best. So today we're making a super delicious and healthy celery cucumber juice. I'm going to be using my juicer so I'll show you exactly how I do that. And this recipe only has five simple ingredients. A couple of you have been asking me for more juice recipes so I think you're really gonna love this one. So whether you're new to juicing or you're just looking for a simple green juice recipe, this one is perfect as a juicing recipe for beginners. Now I've been juicing probably for over 10 years now, and I have found it to be a really great way to add more micronutrients to my diet without eating tons and tons of vegetables. And to be clear, I do eat several servings of vegetables per day but it can be hard for those of us with chronic illnesses or with digestive issues to chew all those vegetables especially raw vegetables to get the same amount of micronutrients as you get from juicing so juicing is essentially a shortcut way to get all the micronutrients without having to digest the fiber so when you juice you are removing the fiber and usually you discard that fiber or you can use it in other recipes like muffins or crackers, things like that. And I will link a recipe, um, we'll put a link in the description box for my green juice pulp crackers that you might wanna check out if you don't like to just throw away the juice pulp. You could also put it in a compost pile so uh, there's lots of ways to use that fiber but again if you're looking just for the juice and all those nutrients then juicing especially green juicing is a great way to do that so i i have several juicing recipes on my website including a beet juice recipe that believe it or not is coming up on 1 million views. I can't believe it. And I will link that one up here so you can check it out if you haven't seen it already. But again, I have had several requests for more juicing videos. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'll probably do some smoothie videos coming up. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future video. But let's go ahead and jump into this celery cucumber green juice recipe and then at the end i'm going to talk a little bit about how this juice recipe recipe can specifically aid in weight loss so as i mentioned this recipe only has five simple ingredients we're going to start with celery now i do like to use organic celery stalks for this recipe and this recipe that i'm going to make today really makes one large serving or two medium servings uh, so i used about the amount of celery from one uh, bulb of celery i guess you could say i did cut off the base and so i washed the stalks well and um, that's how i prepped the celery and then i'm using one large cucumber as you can see now you can use any type of cucumber you like in this recipe this is a english cucumber i believe but you could also use persian cucumbers or really any type of cucumber that you can find now if you have extra sensitive tummy or digestion you may want to remove the skin uh, juicing will remove some of the fiber as well but if you just want to be extra careful you can peel off or cut off the skin from the cucumber before you juice it. Our third ingredient is an apple. Now in the actual recipe for this juice, I suggested using a green apple, and that is because green apples tend to be lower in natural sugars than red apples. But I have a sweet tooth, so I prefer using a sweet red apple uh, in this juice, and I am using Fuji apples, which are my favorites. And because I have some small apples, I'm actually going to be using two. Now, if you are on a serious weight loss journey, or if you have blood sugar issues, you need to talk to your doctor before you start juicing, just to make sure it's right for you. And again, if you have blood sugar issues, you may want to leave out the apple or just use a half an apple or be sure to use a green apple, which has lower natural sugars than red apples. Our fourth ingredient is going to be a lemon or a lime. I believe in my 
recipe on my website, I suggested using a lime, but I had a lemon. And I do suggest adding this uh, ingredient because the citrus, the, the lime or the lemon, add such a brightness to the juice that I really recommend adding it in. And you do need to peel it. You don't want to juice the peel. I know I've had a few people tell me, oh, you can juice the peel. I personally think it's way too bitter. So I always remove the peel before I juice a lemon or a lime or an orange for that matter. And then the last ingredient is, of course, ginger, which adds so much zing to the juice. I highly recommend using ginger. I also peel my ginger before I juice it. And then making the juice is as simple as running it through a juicer. I am using an Omega juicer. I will be sure to link it in the description. I've had it for over a decade. I love it. I find it very easy to use. I know there are a lot of different types of juicers out there, including ones that have a much larger feeding tube. So you don't have to cut your produce into as small of pieces as I do for this Omega juicer. But because I've already purchased this juicer, I and I love it, it still works great. I have not invested in one of the newer types, but you can certainly do that. And believe it or not, you can also make juice in a high speed blender. And that beet juice reference uh, video that I referenced that has almost a million views shows exactly how to make juice, any type of vegetable juice in a blender, which what you do is you simply blend the vegetables and fruits with some water, and then you squeeze that juice through a nut milk bag and you have your juice. So it's as simple as that, but I'm going to be using my juicer and um, it just takes a few minutes to run everything, everything through. And I do recommend alternating the soft and hard textured fruits and vegetables, which helps make the juicer run more efficiently. Now I mentioned that I would talk about some ways how green juice can help with weight loss, in particular, this celery cucumber green juice. First of all, it is fairly low in natural sugars. And so if you traded or swapped out a sugar sweetened beverage, like a soda for a green juice, that would definitely aid in weight loss and make your journey much easier if you start to cut back on those sugar sweetened beverages like 100% fruit juices that have added sugars. Um, maybe you could try to switch to fruit juice and then you could start to add in some vegetables. I would definitely start to wean yourself off of the sodas. I get a lot of questions about diet sodas and that's a totally different topic. Maybe we can address that in a future video, but most research is showing that people who drink diet sodas don't necessarily have an easier time losing weight because your palate and your body is still used to drinking that super sweet beverage, which really is not ideal for losing weight. I also wanted to mention that if you do have a sensitive stomach, like I mentioned, like if you're prone to digestive issues, you might wanna take the extra step after making the juice of pouring it through a fine mesh strainer. And this can help remove any of the extra fiber that has gotten through the juicer and make the juice just that much more free of fiber, which can uh, bother some people's digestive systems. Another way that a green juice that is low in fruits can help with weight loss is simply because it's so rich in micronutrients and those micronutrients they just nourish your cells they're really wonderful for helping fill the gaps of any nutrient deficiencies that you may have uh, for instance folate vitamin c uh, these are all called micronutrients and juicing is just um, a really great way especially if you're including vegetables, it's a really great way to get a lot more of those micronutrients and that can help your body feel more nourished and satisfied, which ultimately may help you with weight loss. And the last way that I would say that this celery cucumber juice can help with weight loss or a healthy weight management is because it is very hydrating. And I love using the cucumber in this juice because cucumbers are 
naturally full of water. And so when you juice them, they just release a lot of liquid and virtually no calories in cucumber juice. And it helps fill out that juice. It helps kind of dilute some of the sugars from the apple juice. And then you also get some additional liquid, low calorie liquid from the celery and then the lemon juice adds to that and then ginger adds just kind of that spicy flavor and so it's really a very hydrating juice that can help you with your healthy weight management so here is the finished juice this is a very large glass this would be perfect for two or even three servings to be honest with you i'm going to give it a little taste test i taste the lemon and the ginger the ginger is pretty mild i might even put in double the amount of ginger next time uh I, that lemon juice is a very strong flavor it covers any celery flavor to be honest i know a lot of people don't like the flavor of celery juice and because i strained it it's really smooth uh, it just has a really nice consistency i think this is the perfect green juice it's perfect for beginners if you're new to juicing or if you're just looking for a staple green juice recipe so thank you so much for watching i'm going to link to my playlist that has all of my vegetable juicing recipes i think you're going to really enjoy watching some of my other videos and i'll see you in the next one